Our newest IDX add-on is called IDX Colors. It's something very new and I think you might really like it because it was something that you weren't allowed to do before unless you knew how to do CSS. So this app, IDX Colors, is located at idxaddons.com. On the left side, you click on IDX Colors. What it does is it allows for you to change the colors of your menu, map pins, links, and buttons of your IDX pages. So whatever you change here will be changed on your website on the IDX pages. For now, it is only possible to change all of the pages at once. So this section changes the primary buttons, the saved search buttons, the search button, the favorite buttons, and the IDX search page menus. This section over here changes the photo gallery buttons, the view details buttons, the new search and modify search. This is for the border of all of the buttons and this is for the tags on the map. So I'm going to do an example on a website of a client for you to see how this works and what each of these colors change. We're working on making these changes appear on all of our templates. So it might be that when you see this video, all you have to do is to activate this, change the buttons and save it. And if you have one of our templates, it will change there. For now, you have to follow a set of steps of adding a code um, on some places. So if you see that the colors are not changing on your templates, follow these steps to add in the code in your subheader section. So what you need to do before you change any of the colors is to activate it and then you will copy this link and paste it in the subheader section. This is located in design, website, and subheaders and you paste it in the global section and you click on save. You have to make sure that you don't have anything related to colors in the custom CSS area. This is for a client. If you do have a code there, what you want to do is to copy it, save it somewhere, and then save the changes without it. I'm obviously going to put this back how it was before, but I want to change it to show you how IDX Colors works. So now we have it activated and we have the subheader section with the code from IDX Adults. We will now work on changing these colors and seeing how they change in this website. So let's change the main color of the buttons to be green and the hover refers to what you want the color to be when you hover over the button. Let's make it so that it's light green. We want the text to be black and the hover text to be gray, for example. So let's only do this for now, save the colors and see how it looks. There it is. So as you can see, the saved button is a main button. That's why it was the only button that changed here. And as we hover over it, it turns light green and the text turns light gray. So it seems like it's working perfectly fine here. As you can see, it also changed the active tag and the text over here. The red text that didn't change into green is something that the clients customized and added the code in the wrappers. So this will not change with the IDX Colors app. Now let's change the secondary buttons. So we want the secondary button to be blue and we want the secondary cover to be light blue. Let's make the text be white and the hover be black. As you can see, these colors will not match. I'm not a professional designer, but this is just for you to clearly notice how we're changing the colors. There it is, the new search and the modify search buttons have been changed to blue because these are secondary buttons, as well as these buttons over here, photo gallery and view details. Now let's change the border of the buttons. We can make it pink if you'd like, make the border solid and let's make it a little bit more wide. There it is, as you can see, it's a bit noticeable that it's pink. It might look better if we leave it without a border or if, or if we make the border color be white.
You can try making it, for example, gray and making it very wide just to see how it looks. Here's how it looks if you want to have the border be much more noticeable. Now we also have the option of changing the tags of the map. So these are the map tags and you can make them any color you want. Let's make them be dark pink. And we want the text to be white, so let's leave it like that. There you have it. You see the map tags be dark pink and the text be white. This will apply to all of the IDX pages, so let's go here. And you can see that the main buttons are green, and the secondary buttons are blue, and the tags are pink. This applies to all of the IDX pages, as you can see. It also applies to all of the buttons on the details pages. So it is now very easy to customize your colors right from the IDX add-ons dashboard. And if you want to erase these colors, you can just take note of what these were before you change them or deactivate the option. Let's now make the colors go back to how they were before. All you have to do is deactivate the IDX color section and paste the custom CSS that they had before and save the changes. We will open it in a new private window because it's probably cached. And you can see that we have the colors exactly as the people at Lee's Realty had them before. Make sure to check it out in our website and play around with the colors. If you have any questions about how this works, make sure to let us know. Our email is support at realtycandy.com. You can get this app and many more for free if you make us your IDX developer. Contact us now to learn more about how you can do that.